Is racism systemic in American society? That's that's really at the heart of a debate that we've had in this country for years now. And right now, lawmakers in at least 12 states have introduced bills that ban teaching what's called critical race theory in schools. Welcome back, everybody. All day yesterday, MSNBC was losing its mind and spreading misinformation that states who are rejecting critical race theory in schools is tantamount to censoring the history of race and racism in America. We've all been beaten over the head with America's racist past since we started school and then after school in TV and movies. It's only gotten more intense and divisive as time goes on because generations of people are being brought up to hate and blame whites for everything negative in their life. Anthony Crawford worries he could lose his job. He teaches creative writing at Millwood High in Oklahoma City, where a new state law is set to ban certain teachings of race, bias, and history. The law targets critical race theory, a decades-old academic study of the legacy of racism and inequality. But a growing chorus of Republicans use the phrase to describe diversity training and historical teachings they see as divisive. The law bans teaching concepts that lead students to feel guilt or discomfort due to their identity. No, that's wrong. What's being banned is racist propaganda that broadly generalizes and judges people based on their skin color. In the case of CRT, that's white people. Students shouldn't feel like they're guilty or less than because of the skin color that they were born with. Especially not based on inaccurate revisionist history as seen by far left Marxist ideologues. This should be obvious and I can't even believe we're having this debate. Notice that the report states that Firing that snake oil huckster somehow means that history won't be taught. All of us have been taught about America's slavery past and the ensuing mistreatment of black Americans. All those posters that they were showing during the segment are all things that we all learned about without racist communist indoctrination. Representative Kevin West was one of the authors of Oklahoma's bill. No teacher shall require or make part of a course the following concepts an individual by virtue of his or her race or sex bears responsibility for actions committed in the past by other members of the same race or sex. I've certainly never heard a teacher say those things. Is that a journalistic standard? Your personal anecdote? There are lots of stories out there about white students feeling like they're being made to feel less than or guilty for something they had nothing to do with. Something, George. Because I think those are, I think there's something very different yeah. about having a single experience where you make sense of it, right? And having a teacher, an authority figure, talk to you endlessly every year telling you that because you have whiteness, you are associated with evils, all these different evils. These are moral evils. It's not the same as taking like a physical thing because it doesn't affect your, your, your moral value. That's the problem. The, 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 the fact is that I'm agreeing with you that there has been a demonization that we need to get our hands around in the way in which people are doing this understanding. Okay, so you agree that you, we're demonizing kids? We're demonizing, um, kid, we're, we're demonizing white people for being born. And, uh, and are some of our and students white accept. people? What? Are some of our students white people? Yes. Okay, so we're demonizing white we're demonizing white kids. Why don't you just say it? We are I, we are using language that makes them feel less than um, for nothing that they are personally responsible for. I'm wondering if these hacks even read the legislation. After signing it, Governor Kevin Sitt said, "Quote: No teacher shall require or make part of a course that one race or sex is inherently superior to another race or sex." To be sure, we must keep teaching history in all of its complexities and encourage honest and tough conversations about our past. Nothing in this bill prevents or discourages those conversations. In fact, this bill clearly endorses teaching to the Oklahoma academic standards which were written by Oklahoma educators. As should everybody. I mean, stand up for yourselves. Have some self-respect. One wonders how, you know, teachers in Oklahoma can teach the accurate history of, for instance, the Tulsa race massacre with a law like this on the book. But I learned about the Tulsa massacre in school. I've seen multiple documentaries about it on TV. There's many movies out there about it. Why would you not be able to teach that history without a radical Marxist conspiracy theory? This. 
This is all just such transparent hackery. Just notice all the questions that they don't ask. They're clearly not concerned about white students who feel like they're being otherized and the possible long-term ramifications of that. It's deep in this country, systemic uh, and deeply rooted, but lawmakers in at least 12 states now, they've begun to introduce bills that ban teaching what's called critical race theory. History is wit written by the victors and the perspectives of those who were not on the winning side often get sidelined. What things like the 1619 Project and critical race theory aim to do is to surface those marginalized voices. And when those voices are surfaced, that can be incredibly threatening to those whose vision of history has always been predominant. No, 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 no. What these groups seek to do is rewrite history and their Marxist vision so that they can transform the country into something it was never meant to be. Something that'll kill innovation, motivation, and lead to stagnation. Eventually, the country will look like the former Soviet satellites, decaying and depressing. I'll point out again that the Marxist origins of CRT never come up in these fake panels of snake oil hucksters. That's because they're all Marxists trying to deceive the American people. And get this, after an argument that I had on Facebook with somebody about CRT, I was suspended for 30 days for, get this, posting a pro-critical theory book with a segment describing critical theory and the fact it's derived from Marxism. They really don't want people to know that this is all just a mind virus that's supposed to lead to the end of capitalism and its replacement by communism. That's all I have for this one. If you enjoy this channel, please hit that like button. And if CRT has affected your life, let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.